Nella Chiesa non esiste il fai da te, non esistono battitori liberi. Quante volte Papa Benedetto ha descritto la Chiesa come un noi ecclesiale. Talvolta capita di sentire qualcuno dire io credo in Dio, credo in Gesù, ma la Chiesa non mi interessa. Quante volte abbiamo sentito questo? E questo non va. C'è chi ritiene di poter avere un rapporto personale, diretto, immediato con Gesù Cristo, al di fuori della comunione e della meditazione della Chiesa. Sono tentazioni pericolose, sono tentazioni dannose, sono, come diceva il grande Paolo VI, dicotomie assurde. È vero che camminare insieme è impegnativo e a volte può risultare faticoso. Può succedere che qualche fratello o qualche sorella ci faccia problema o ci dia scandalo. Ma il Signore ha affidato il suo messaggio di salvezza a delle persone umane, a tutti noi, a dei testimoni e, ed è nei nostri fratelli e nelle nostre sorelle con il loro dono e il loro limite, che ci viene incontro e ci fa riconoscere. E questo significa appartenere alla Chiesa. Ricordatevi bene, essere cristiano significa appartenenza alla Chiesa. Il nome è cristiano, il cognome è appartenenza alla Chiesa. But there's a real disconnect when you say, I have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus, but no personal relationship with His church. I really want to address that because I think that's a fabrication and a deception that has found a place in the thinking of many professing Christians today. And I have tried to teach you to love not only Christ, but to love the church. And I've also tried to raise up other men and women in leadership who could teach others to love the church. I've tried to raise up young men through the seminary and the master's university, and young women, wherever, to love the church. I, I've had a lifelong love for the church that I want to share. We have a shepherd's conference to try to help men love the church more and train God's people to love the church more. And in all honesty, I am greatly disturbed with the popular idea that you can have a personal relationship with Christ and be detached from the church. That is just a very odd and unacceptable disconnect. Like saying, I'm connected to the head but not to the body. Makes no sense. But it is becoming increasingly popular to say, I have a personal relationship with Christ, but no real relationship to the church. Then I would say immediately, your relationship with Jesus Christ is far from what it ought to be because loving Him and not loving His church is not acceptable to Him. That is why the Bible, New Testament, uses the metaphor of the body. He is the head, you're the body, you're in union with Christ. How can you not be in constant communion with His living body, the church? How do you know someone's a Christian? It's not because they say, I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It's because they say, I have a corporate relationship with Jesus Christ. I love His church. That's my life, His church. You need to be a public, open, faithful member of His church for His glory. 
We don't want a personal relationship with you in any limited sense. That's not enough. We want to be one with you and one with every other person who is one with you. We want to show the world the truth of the gospel and our salvation by our love for the church, which is the evidence of our love for the Savior. How can we say we love You, Lord Jesus, if it isn't obvious how much we love Your church, the church You love and for whom You gave Your life?